Hey guys, welcome back. So today I am going to be doing a tutorial on this look. This is going to be my New Year's Eve glam makeup tutorial. So today we are taking the glam from here and we're going all the way up. I'm gonna do some highlight, contour, baking, the whole nine with all of you guys. I hope you enjoy it, love you guys. Let's get started. Hey guys, so I start all of my makeup with my skincare prep. I'm going in with the Skin Ink Serum. I'm really liking this right now. I broke out a little bit, so uh, I do like the way this is making my skin feel, but I've still been using my Active Serum. I got one nice drop, and I'm just gonna rub it all over my face. I'll go in with my eye cream. I'm going in with the Rodeal Glam Tox Eye Formula. This helps with under eye dark circles, smooths out any fine lines and wrinkles. Always use your ring fingers when putting on your eye cream. Now while that is sitting, I'm gonna go into my face cream. I'm gonna go in with the Rodeal Dragon's Blood Hyaluronic Moisturizer. I'm really liking this right now. One pump. What I love is that it gives me just enough moisture without looking oily. And I'm gonna go in with the Rodeal Bee Venom Eye Cream. And literally, that is how much I use. I'm going to prep my eyes using the Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finish Eye Primer. You guys know I love, love, love this eye primer. I love the way it makes the eyes feel. It gives it like that dry, uh, not tacky feeling, but it just gives it such a smooth finish the way a primer should feel. Okay. Because I'm gonna use this like really glamorous, smoky, shimmery eye, I'm gonna use the Lit Tootsie Number no. Size 2 Shadow. But I want like a base to go on. Even though this is just enough, I wanna add just a hint of color. So underneath, right here, I'm gonna put a little bit of eyeliner as my base. So I have the Scandalize Waterproof Kajal Eyeliner. This is in the shade Taupe. Okay, so in my crease, I'm going to start with two shades from MAC. The first one is going to be soft brown, and the second one is going to be cork. Using a tapered blending brush, this is an E40 brush from Sigma. I'm going to take an E39 brush, and I'm gonna go back in, I'm gonna use the soft brown again, and I'm gonna go into that crease, almost where the socket is for the eye. Now I'm taking an E25 brush and cork, and I'm gonna go into the crease. I'm gonna take the E40 brush, and I'm gonna go back into the crease with cork. Next I'm gonna take this shade, it's called Deeply Dashing. It's a pressed pigment from MAC and I'm gonna drop that into the crease. And I'm using an E45 brush to do that. Now I'm going to take one of my favorite shadows from MAC, and this is bronze. I'm back in with that E25, and I'm just gonna bring it to the outer corner right here. Now I'm gonna go in with Tootsie, and I'm going to take the clear liquid glitter base that comes with it. Okay, so now what I like about it is that it's like a subtle, sparkly um, eyeshadow. It's not overdone, and I think you do get a very good application by applying the liquid glitter base first, and then using your ring finger to tap on the color. I'm going to take Graphology and I'm going to put that right in my crease. Then I'm also gonna take Black Tide from MAC and I'm gonna add it right here into the outer crease.
Okay, so what I did is I cut the lashes in threes and I took the outer edges of the corn of the lashes off and cut those off because I feel they're too long for my eyes. And that's the beauty about wearing in, you know lashes. You can pretty much do whatever you like. So I'm gonna let the glue sit, everything sit on the eyes. I'm gonna work on the face now and then I'm gonna come back to my eyes. I'm going to apply the Step One Skin Equalizer from Makeup Forever. This is their um, base primer. I'm gonna take the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I'm just gonna cover up a couple spots that I have first. Gently, nothing really crazy because the foundation is gonna cover everything up. For foundation, I'm gonna go in with NC25 Studio Fix Fluid Foundation from MAC. I really like this foundation and it just depends on what type of coverage that you guys like but um, I use this on my clients and my friends actually happen to really like this when I get a chance to do their makeup. It's a little bit more fl fuller coverage but it does last a long time and it's really good. What I'm going to do is start to just do a couple of dots. I'm going to take my beauty blender and I'm going to start to just buff this out. Now, when you're doing your foundation, one of the things that I can't stand is when somebody's neck doesn't match with their face. So I always recommend whatever you have left on the brush or on your beauty blender, or you could just take a little bit more and always extend it down. I look a little crazy right now because I have to do my uh, under eye circles, but you want everything to be blended in perfect. I'm just gonna put this uh, Stila Lush Lips Lip Plumper on. It's like a conditioner. I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier Concealer. Now you guys know I have a full review on this. And I'm just going to take these two shades and mix them together. I'm taking a P86 brush. I am gonna leave the concealer here like this. I might go in with some NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, but I'm going to highlight and contour today using these guys. These are awesome. So these are the Smashbox Step-by-Step -step Contour Stick Trios. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the highlight shade. And because I have a little depth right in here, I'm going to bring this lighter shade like this, okay? I wanna open up this area on myself. That's gonna make it open. If you're of mature age and you do like to wear makeup, this is a great step to do because once this area reflects the light, it appears more open, it gives you that lift. Anything that's dark is gonna push it back. So then I'm also, I wanna lift right up here. I love when I have this lift going on right here, okay? And what's great about these pencils is it's so easy to do it and they're so soft. I'm gonna put a little right here. I wanna reflect some light this way. And on the cupid's bow, because that will open up, give you a nice pucker. And then I'm gonna put a little down the center of my nose. And I'm just gonna put just a little bit right here. And I think I'm just gonna go in with my beauty blender and I'm gonna buff everything out. Now I'm gonna go in with the contour color. And I'm gonna go right here, follow here. All I'm doing is holding the beauty blender sideways and I'm just tapping it into. You don't want to bring it down, okay guys? You want to keep it right here, right on the jaw. Now I'm going to take a MAC 130 brush and I'm going to start to push the product in. You see how I just built up my cheekbone to go up? You want to press up.
Now I'm going to take that bronze stick and I'm going to add just a little bit right up here, okay? right here to lift my cheekbone even higher now the moment you've all been waiting for is I am going to bake under my eyes now baking is not for the faint of heart if you guys do not like to wear a lot of makeup do not do this step just dust off the um, the under eye area so I'm taking the Laura Mercier powder okay I'm going to put a little bit in my cap. You don't want to be afraid when you're doing this. This is going to highlight in addition to your concealer and your highlight that you just did. But it's also going to keep everything intact. This is a little bit more of a heavier method. I take my beauty blender, whatever's on it, and I'm going to pack it on. also going to do it on my highlight down here because I want a really strong highlight and contour I'm gonna take my brow power super skinny pencil from it cosmetics so I'm gonna line my waterline with the forbidden ink black um, eyeliner from Miraness, and this is called Taboo. I'm gonna take the shade Cranberry from MAC and I'm gonna put that under in my lower lash line. I'm gonna go in with the Sigma Structural Lashes. This is the high caliber lash mascara and I really like these mascaras because they are water resistant and they don't smudge. I'm gonna add a little bit of the Tarte Eyeliner just to intensify what I just did. And I'm going to use Mary Luminizer from The Balm and an E40 brush. So now it's time to dust everything off. And I'm going to go in with the Tapered Flush Fluff Brush from uh, Sigma. This is a face brush. This is the F25. And for the blush, I'm going to start with Well Dressed from MAC. For my lips, I'm gonna go with a pink lip today and I'm gonna go in with the Go Dutch. This is a lip base from Sigma. I love it, it's a very pale pink. I'm gonna take just a little bit of morning coffee from MAC and I'm gonna increase it right, just put it right here just to lift my lip a little bit. And then I'm going to take this shade from Kevin O'Quan. This is called Pia 9. That's it, guys. You are ready to go out. So I hope all of you have a very safe, fun, and happy new year. Thank you so much for following me throughout this entire year. You guys have been truly supportive. For those of you that have subscribed, thank you. And for those of you that have liked my videos, thank you so much.